Who's ready for Feral Monday? <laughs> I'm so excited. Listen, I want to do this look. I told y'all we were going to do this look, and we still haven't done this look, but we're going to do it today. You know, I wouldn't say it's super feral, but it's still a little bit dark and smoky, and there's burgundy. Um, I'm going to give y'all this color lip, but we're also going to do a burgundy lip. Things are breaking, but I'm excited. <laughs> Calm down. By the way, Hung Van Gogh, he did this look. Isn't this so pretty? I love the lip, but I do. I, we'll do this because that's so easy, but we, we need to do burgundy. Um, this look is so pretty. Let's go. One more thing before we move on. Me. <laughs> I like to make my lips myself small. <laughs> I'm sorry, it makes me laugh so hard every time. Don't forget about our summer sale. I'm going to leave a link for y'all. 10% off site wide. Of course, that's going to exclude the sets because the set's already discounted. But yeah, go shop. And it's not going to last that much longer. So I'm just, just here to remind you. Let's see how small I can get. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself small again. Here, I fit right here perfectly. So what we're, I'm, I just checked and it looks like Hung did use this eye primer. Y'all know that I actually like this eye primer. Um, if you've been here for a second, I have used this one. I like how it's very, very thin, but it does have enough coverage to kind of correct my skin tone on my lid here. So we're gonna smooth that out. If you're just starting with eyeshadow primer, I know I'm really small, but you don't really need to see. Um, just to make sure that your lid is completely evenly coated, start by pressing right at your lash line and then start to just go up side by side until you reach all the way up to your brow bone. That's gonna make sure it's perfectly smoothed over your lid and it's all nicely coated. Even, it being even is so important. I need to shut my door, but you can hear Ben typing. But one time, I forget who it was, and I love you so much. I, I do get a lot of DMs, but forgive me for forgetting who it was. But one of y'all said, it sounds like Ben is in there tap dancing, and I can't unhear it. And I have laugh. I laugh every single day just thinking about that. That's all I can hear. <laughs> ben, give us a little type. Tap give me, let, let's hear that jig. I'm not anything right now. <laughs> He's nervous. So I was recording this. I don't know why, but it wouldn't upload. So all I did was I just ran this. I need to add more anyways, but we need to talk about layers and how I'm holding this brush. This is that pretty burgundy shade. It's gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna use that in a rush brush. And the reason why is because we're kind of in a rush. These set very quickly. And all I'm doing is I'm holding the brush very far back. We still don't want a lot of pressure. Remember, the higher we hold it, the more pressure. We don't want that. We want, want to be pretty far back. And I'm kind of just doing circular motions there, circular motions there, circular motions there, and then some circular motions there. And then I just repeat that until this gets really nice and diffused. So believe it or not, this eyeshadow look is pretty easy. So we're gonna darken this a little bit more now on the outer part, see that little situation there? Okay, perfect. Also, this is important, kind of see how it sounds lame. Maybe you're like, why do I care? Every time I'm doing that, I'm shutting the lid because this formula will dry and I want you to not throw them. <laughs> I want you to get the most out of them and I want them to last you as long as they're supposed to last you. So make sure that you're putting the cap back on there and then again, we're blending with these small circular motions and we're holding it very far back. It's very important. So if you're wondering, why are we not tapping? This formula right here, it's gonna take a lot to move it. So we are gonna need some buffing motions. It's a little bit different than when we're tapping that shadow on. This is already directly on the eye and we also need to move it quickly because it is going to set very quickly. So we're gonna need these very soft circular motions to really move it quickly and evenly. So no, we're not gonna do circular motions all of the time, but when a shadow stick, um, and you're, when you have a shadow stick and you're wanting to blend that out, it needs to be quick. They set so quickly. I, I mean, I'll put this on the back of my hand and you'll see in about 30 seconds, I mean, maybe, maybe 60, but I even think 30, this is going to be dry and it's not going to move. We got to take a gander at something. Okay. So it says that the brown liner was used, but I'm not seeing where it was used. It doesn't say where. Uh, so what I'm thinking, let me come up here a little bit closer. Do you see through here? 
And then over here on the other side, you can see that it's very dark and very harsh, almost unblended in a good way. So I think we're gonna do the same thing here and just deepen this up. I'm gonna work through here first. Here, let me make myself larger here. There we go. So we'll just put that there. And then before that sets, let's buff that and soften a little. These circular motions, see, I was holding it too far up. Let's hold it further back. By the way, this is that Rare Beauty liner, the shade's Compassion. I always feel like I'm telling you all the wrong names. I do too much. Yes, it's called Compassion. It's gonna darken that a little bit more there. I might leave that unblended. And then let's darken over this way. And then through here. Something really cool. Oh, hang on, let me blend this before I tell y'all anymore. I was just gonna show you that this is the um, eyeshadow stick and then this is the liner and you'll notice that look how close they are when the light isn't hitting the eyeshadow stick so you can't see the sparkle. They have such a similar undertone and they're so similar in color. So that's why they're working together so nicely. Fun, right? Now we got our well-being eyeshadow stick. Now we're gonna take our E27 and we're gonna soften these edges. Soften it there. And then of course we're gonna soften it over this way. Now we're gonna take the black liner, just a little bit, and we're just gonna barely darken, darken, I can't, I'm too excited, I can't talk. We're gonna darken this lash line. Let's grab our E27 again. And I don't want this to go too far up. I do wanna soften it though, so we're gonna tap instead of swipe. So just tap that out, just to smooth that top part. Okay, let's do the black one on the waterline. Then we're going to take Compassion and we're just going to go over the very top part of the eye. I should say the eyeliner. I'm very focused. <laughs> okay, it looks like we are on the right track. The lighting is so different in each photo. That is a little bit difficult when you do recreations because it just, it's so different. There is one thing that we are going to have to do and that's clean up around here but we do that all the time. Let's keep going. Okay, we got our Rokale Beauty Lashes. We're gonna do Moonlight. They're a little floofier than what Selena has on, but you know what? We want some floof. So we have a really tiny amount of foundation. We're about to start on complexion, but I got hot and thirsty and just in here in the makeup layer. So I'm taking that, we're gonna start to clean up here. And then we're really gonna clean up over in here because it looks like she has a lot of space from her crease to her brow bone. So if your eyeshadow ever creeps up a little bit too much, this is the perfect trick. So I put a little bit more foundation there. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure she has some kind of shimmer on her brow bone, but let me go check that. Now let's take our foundation, we're gonna apply it. I did three pumps of this one. I love this one, it's so thin. I've done two wear tests. My first wear test was not an ad but I did it in the colder months. And then the second one, they wanted me to do one in the summer. And that one was, but I've done two in summer, winter, spring, fall, this stuff is amazing. Um, you are gonna think, wow, that's not your shade, but this is a long wear foundation. And when it comes to a long wear foundation, whenever you pick your shade, don't pick it right when you apply it. It needs to dry down before you decide. So this is not a good indicator you just need to trust that process. <laughs> but that's a, such an important tip. Make sure that when you pick your shade, it has dried down for 10 minutes. Let's do our concealer. This one's my Natasha Denona. We know I love this one. It's a 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, so we know how I blend concealer these days. I like to really focus on these harder to reach areas first. And I wanna make sure that it's perfectly evened out. That's why we like this tiny little C31 to really fit in there. And then I take my concealer, I mean my foundation brush, and then I just go around the edges and melt it in. Okay, so we're gonna use this today. I'm using the shade Super Hot. I wanna, I wanna go a little bit more bronzy. Um, they are very blendable. Do you see how scary that was and now it's not? So don't be afraid of these. They blend beautifully, and this brush is a prototype. Prototype, can't talk about it, but you can look at it. You're gonna like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So now we're doing Virtue, that's in the recipe. And I have all that, remember, no powder. We have the foundation, the concealer, 
and the bronzer, but no powders. It's so important. I'm gonna grab our C41 and listen. If you're struggling with these, it could be your brush. I, I, I try not to brag on the brushes too much. I do brag a little bit, but not too much. But if you struggle with these brush, I mean, with these blushes, have you tried it with this brush? Honestly, it's, do you see how easy that was? A little magic wand. <laughs> And let's set with our Givenchy powder. Ooh, that's nice. I'm also going to set through the center of my face. And then I'm going to use a different powder to set the perimeter. But let's brighten through here. So I think I'm going to set the outer perimeter with this powder. It's pretty sheer. I feel like I might need to get a darker shade, but I feel like we're going to be okay. I do love this powder, and we've talked about the difference in powder, which I still need to post. I'm doing my three-part series. We'll talk about that some more. But in the meantime, the loose powder is going to be better underneath your eyes because it's more finely milled. And then to set the perimeter, a pressed one is really nice because it's going to really lock it in and hold it. We're going to grab the black eye pencil, and I'm barely bringing it out of the waterline. Just kind of tapping it right at the base of the lashes. Then we're going to take Compassion and we're going to smudge the black with that. Now before that sets, we're going to lightly smudge. So now we're doing the inner corner again. This is that one we used on our lid. Let me remind myself. Well-being. That's going to go on our brow bone. Oh my gosh, Gene is locked out. Heaven forbid. Let him back in here and I'm just going to soften it. Now the recipe calls for this lip oil. This is the shade Hope. Okay, and then I have the lip liner, but I'm gonna put this on first. And the reason why is because it's gonna be so much easier to line the lips with this little bit of oil because it's just gonna glide so much easier. Same thing goes with lipstick. So let's throw that on. And yes, I'm gonna wipe this off. And we're still gonna do a super burgundy dark lip. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna darken the crease a little bit more with the shadow stick and compassion. Just so it really matches hers. I feel that when we added the brown liner, it might have dulled it just a hair, but no big deal. We'll just add a little bit more and soften the edges. Eventually when we find, here it is, our E29. I'm just going to pull in one direction. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. You know, this is just going to make me ready for fall. August is coming and I don't care what anyone says. August is pre-fall. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. This is the Sephora Collection Lip Creams. They do dry completely matte. And they do not transfer. They're amazing. Um, it's going to transfer a little bit because I'm going to use a black lip liner that is not transfer proof. But that being said, if you were to use this alone, the shade is number 98. So let's do a rough draft. Okay. Oh, I got too excited. I didn't tell, I didn't label it. I'm just so excited because now I'm thinking that we're into fall. <laughs> let's use a black lip liner because why not? Make it extra, extra vampy. Now, if you're wondering, why am I just doing my bottom lip? This is such a good tip when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Work in sections. And if you're just starting, work in each section. So I would have worked here, then I would have worked there, and then I'm still gonna work halfway here. It really makes such a difference. And then we're gonna go in with our lip liner before it dries so we can blend as we go. Who's ready for fall? Because I am. I want to hold a pumpkin. <laughs> I actually like the look better with the dark lip. I do, I do. And also now I want to put a Queen Cosmetics gloss on top, but I'm gonna film a video because she did reformulate these, so we have to do a new, a whole new lineup. Okay, I have so much I want to film today, so I'm gonna go take this off and film some more. I love y'all so much. Um, this will definitely be saved to YouTube. We'll put that, that story there. And I think that's it. I like the dark lip. <laughs> I'm excited for fall and for all the golden, wonderful fall looks. Okay, I'm gonna hop off and before I do take this off, I'm gonna film with a Queen Cosmetics gloss and I think we should start that series over because it was one of my favorite series of all time. Okay, 
I love you all so much. And um, yeah, I already posted today. What the heck? We're changing things up. Anyways, just go comment there. I'll come back and say hi, but I love you with all my heart.